Since 1994, Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo have had a turbulent relationship after Rwandan Hutus, accused of killing Tutsis, fled to eastern DRC and formed militia groups. <laughs> the deadliest of these groups is the Democratic Forces for the Liberation of Rwanda, or FDLR, which Rwanda says is backed by the DRC. Another group of the center of tensions between both countries is the M23 rebel group, which is fighting the DRC's military. Kinshasa says it's backed by the Rwandan government. Both countries deny the allegations. The M23 says President Felix Shekesedi's government has reneged on a 2013 peace deal signed with the previous administration. And that had to do with uh, their working conditions in the army. That had to do with recognition of their citizenship rights. The second group is FDLR. They have been occasionally attacking Rwanda. It's against this backdrop that U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken will attempt to ease tensions between the two countries during his visit to the DRC. It's got strategic and critical minerals, and the United States is a major contribution also to, to, to the United Nations budget, of which, of course, you've got the U.N. peacekeeping operation there that's been in trouble for quite a while now, MINUSCO. While in Rwanda, the final destination of his sub-Saharan trip, Blinken will seek a long-term solution to ending conflicts in the Great Lakes region. Rwanda also is uh, a country that increasingly the U.S. is engaged with, and the U.S. is encouraging it to be engaged in other parts of Africa. Experts say face-to-face -face talks between Kinshasa and the M23 rebels can help resolve the differences. As for the FDLR... This then make sure they don't threaten the security of Rwanda and you have solved Rwanda's problem with the RSC. Recent attempts by the African Union and the East African community to resolve the crisis have not yielded much. It's not going to be easy for the U.S. Secretary of State to broker a peace deal with both countries given the brief nature of his visit. Robert Nagila, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.